Hey all, Tim from the LV with today's shot of Self Confidence Espresso. And today's title is going to be How to Be More Fulfilled Than You've Ever Been. And I am shooting from the west coast of the San Francisco Bay. And I gotta tell you, I don't think I've ever experienced a location on the planet that is more fulfilling than where I am right now. Uh, the sun has just come up. It's shining off the clouds and creating that pinkish, silverish glow. It's bouncing off the windows of the office buildings. There's mountains around. Uh, the tide is coming up. It's cool. It's breezy. It's absolutely perfect. And this place speaks to me on a spiritual level, on an emotional level, on a physical level, and a psychological level. And it leaves me better every time I come here. So... I think it's a great metaphor for how we can become more fulfilled than we've ever been. And I think there's two pieces to that. The first piece we've talked about a lot, and that's figuring out what your purpose is or what your gift is. You know, when you look around, there are so many people who are depressed and discouraged and are just going through the motions. And this subject is dear to my heart because I've been in that spot. And whenever I've been in that spot, it's because I've been off my purpose. I've not been doing what I've been called to do. And for me, what I've been called to do is pretty simple. It's to encourage and to inspire other people. And I'm fortunate that by you know executing those two things, I've been able to go all around the country, all around the world, do some really, really cool things and have some really, really awesome things that are coming up and are in the, the, the near and the long term future. You know, there's a proverb that says that your gift will bring you before kings. Your gift is different than mine, but we all have greatness implanted within us and it's our individual gift that that greatness lies within. So you got to figure out what your gift is and be able to share that with the world. And sharing that with the world is the second component of that. Is, you know, once you've got your gift, figure out how do I use it and how do I get it in front of as many people as possible. If you wanna be more successful at anything than anybody else you know, the secret lies in adding value and in giving away what you're awesome at. And I don't necessarily mean giving it away for free, but I mean finding a way to use it and to get it in front of people. There are so many takers out there in the world, people trying to take from their jobs and from the government and from other relationships. But if you become somebody who's a giver, somebody who's value added, you're gonna find that that propels you to levels of fulfillment and success that you never ever dreamed were possible. You know, I, I once again, I'm fortunate because right now I'm in the middle of a week-long leadership gig where I am teaching and coaching and speaking, and the hours are long. It's like 20 to 22-hour days, uh, and there's not a lot of sleep, but it's, it's in the contributions that I'm able to make through, you know, the messages that I've been given and the skills and the strategies and the te techniques that I've learned. Uh, to see it benefit other people's lives and to see them make improvements in their leadership and in their teams and their organizations that just gets me fired up. And it's a self-perpetuating cycle because it not only benefits me, it benefits those people who we get the chance to touch. And you're the exact same way. Look, you have a uniqueness that only that's only yours. You have gifts that nobody else has. You gotta leverage those and figure out what they are and then start to use them. And use them in small ways, use them in big ways, but get them in front of as many people as possible because you have greatness in your future and it lies in your ability to make a contribution. Whenever we become self-focused and it becomes all about us, we start to shrink. But you know, true greatness lies in our ability to impact those around us. And you have things that only you can do that I can't do that nobody else can do. And you have a role to play. And when you figure out what that is and you figure out ways to get that in front of people more and more and more uh, in simple ways, in big ways, it doesn't matter. That is where life lies and that's where fulfillment lies. And it's going to take you and just absolutely explode in your life and take you to places that you never ever thought were possible. And you know, you your your vision may not be to travel all over the country and all over the world and that's cool. But you can get that deep sense of satisfaction and fulfillment and and success um, that comes from when you know what you're here to do and you start to do it and you do it as much as possible. I believe so strongly in this that I believe that if we don't do that we die from the inside out. And I've talked a lot about that before, but I just can't understate 
the importance of this message. So, you know, the way to become more fulfilled, like Picasso says, is figure out what your gift is and then figure out how to give it away. Be more value added at what you do than anybody else you know, and you will become more successful at what you do and more fulfilled than anybody else you know. So, you know, grab your greatness and drive it because I believe now is your time and the future has awesome, awesome things in store for you and you've got the ability to take that and run with it and do and achieve and become everything that you always knew and wanted to. So this is Tim from the LV, uh, hoping you continue to kill it, saying, hey, your life is a tour de force. Make sure you live it that way. Uh, and I will talk to you soon. Have awesome, awesome days and thanks for listening.